Hi, I'm Frank Vozos. Welcome to Shake, Taste, and Tour, our very first virtual fundraiser. 2020 has been and continues to be a very challenging year. We have not only had to rethink how we administer healthcare, but also how we host our fundraising events. Today, we come to you virtually in the comfort of your own home. However, before we start our virtual event, I would like you to know that after decades of treating patients and guiding hospital administrators, I'll be retiring the end of this year. I'm very proud of what has been accomplished over the last five years by the incredible hospital staff and physicians. We have not only enhanced the services of the hospital, but added new programs and the latest technology. And the testament to that is the fact that we have received an A grade from the LeapFrog Group, and even more importantly, the best of the best hospital in Ocean County by the readers of the Asbury Park Press. None of this would have been possible without the undying support that you all have given us. I am leaving you in the very competent hands of Eric Carney, President and Chief Executive Officer of both Monmouth Medical Center and Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus here in Lakewood. I want you to trust that Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus has taken all safety precautions in accordance with the CDC and is safe and ready to care for you and your loved ones. Please do not put off your health care needs. We are here for you. Now let me introduce you to your new CEO, Eric Carney. Thank you, Dr. Vozos, for the very warm introduction. It's an honor to be here and to be part of the Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus family. I've spent my first days at Southern Campus learning about the outstanding work our physicians and staff do every day to care for our community. In the coming months and years, I look forward to meeting and getting to know all of you in the community. Dr. Vozos and I would like to thank our sponsors and contributors for their continued generosity by supporting Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus. Your support is awe-inspiring and is so critical to our success. Tonight's program will support our amazing cancer programs that make a difference for so many who need our care. I hope you find the tour of our hospital enlightening and that it may inspire you to support us. Thank you again for being our partner in health. Before we start our virtual tour, let's hear a few words from the chairman of our foundation, Mr. Robert Sickle. Thanks, Eric. Hi, I'm Rob. I'm the chairman of the Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus Foundation Board and the owner of Pine Belt Cars. I'm also the event sponsor for this evening's program, Shake, Taste, and Tour. The Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus Foundation's mission is to strengthen the financial security and future of the medical center through supporting programs and services and providing state-of-the-art equipment and technology, while extending into our communities through education and outreach. Our success and impact is a direct result of the incredible generosity of our donors, trustees, and community. Please join me in advancing our mission through a donation tonight to Monmouth South. Your investment will help us stay on the cutting edge of clinical care and remain a strong healthcare resource within the community. I invite you to sit back and relax while Joe Leon introduces us to some local eateries and amazing holiday drinks as we get a glimpse into some of the remarkable departments here at Monmouth South. Thank you and enjoy your evening. Thanks, Rob. I'm really happy to be here as a culinary foodie in the local area, going around to some local eateries. This is gonna be a great night. I am happy and honored to be part of the Shake, Taste, and Tour fundraiser for Monmouth Medical's Southern Campus. Throughout the virtual tour, I'm going to take you to outstanding eateries. In fact, I'm at one right now, and that's Half Moon Point in Point Pleasant. We're gonna highlight some festive drinks and appetizers that will go well around your holiday table. But before we start shaking it up here with Jesse, we're gonna head over to the hospital and we'll take you for a tour of the outpatient infusion department. Hi, I'm Sarah Manning, and I'm the director of outpatient infusion. I'm very excited to be with you to tell you about the wonderful team that we have. You can get chemotherapy anywhere. All drugs are available at any facility. What's different about the infusion unit at Mama South are the people. When you're undergoing chemotherapy, it's the worst time in your life generally, and the nurses that we have at Mama South are impeccable in the way that they help people get through that time. Everything that they do, they do 
100% um, with heart and give everything that they have to every single patient we have. Cancer should be personal, cancer care should be personal, and that's what we deliver. Our unit is unique compared to other ones. We don't have the one large room where you have many people sitting around in the circle. We have private and semi-private rooms, so it really allows the patient and the patient support person to have that time to uh, ask questions without feeling uh, uncomfortable. Over the last five years, we've seen huge growth in oncology specifically. Where we used to see maybe one or two oncology patients a day, we're averaging about 20 to 25. I don't think there's any one reason why people are coming here. Certainly, you can just simply say, well, their physician is referring them here, but it's not so much why they're coming here, it's why they're staying here. Thank you, Sarah, that was great. I'm here with Jesse, Half Moon Point, Point Pleasant. Uh, we're gonna make a nice drink, so what do you got? We're gonna make our signature cocktail, one of them, which is perfect for this time of year. It's called Maple Old Fashioned. Nice. You take an orange and a cherry. We have the Luxardo cherries here. You could use a maraschino cherry if that's all you have. Then you're gonna muddle the orange and the cherry together in a rocks glass. Get it nice and mixed together. And then you're gonna top the glass off with ice. We have our Bird Dog Maple Flavored Whiskey. This is pretty sweet. We also have a fancy maple bitters, but if you just have the Angostura bitters, you can use that as well. Okay. So whenever I make an old fashioned, I always do one or two drops of bitters. And then you'll fill the glass almost all the way to the top. And you can make this with any kind of bourbon or whiskey. And then pour it into your shaker. And that is your maple old fashioned. Oh wow, that's nice. It's kind of right. like pancakes with fruit on it. It has that sweet hint to it, but it's a really good cocktail seasonally for this time of year. Wonderful. Jesse, this is outstanding. I'm not a whiskey drinker, but I gotta tell you, the, the fruit in there and the maple syrup is really dynamite. I, I think that this really made a big difference, the bitters. Yeah. Excellent, excellent drink. And I was talking to Bass before, and he came up with something really nice uh, to match with this drink. Oh, hey, Bass, how are you? How are you? How are you? I've paired with the uh, Pensia scallops over bacon and uh, goat cheese grits. Oh, wow. And you, you know what's really good, what Bass does, and Bass is a good friend of mine for a lot of years, and we're always talking, going with the southern flavors of the south, then also going with a little bit of the French uh, flavors and also putting the berries in there. So I'm just gonna get a little in here, try this out. Mmm, the goat cheese is, is incredible on this. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. This is so good. But meanwhile, while I eat this dish, go check out Adam at Radiology. Go ahead, Adam. So here you have the, uh, the circumflex. Hi, I'm Adam. I'm the director of radiology at Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus. Here in radiology, we have state-of-the-art equipment and top of the line full diagnostic suite is our uh, newest addition to the radiology department is our Siemens Go Top. It's been a great addition to the radiology department. This piece of equipment has artificial intelligence within it and it does a virtual cardiac catheterization. It does not require any catheters going through the groin or any invasive procedures. There's only seven sites within the state of New Jersey that does it. We have seen an increase in volume thanks to our marketing campaigns and the word getting out for this particular piece of technology. We were able to get a lot of the cardiologists to start sending their patients that were high risk of infection to do this virtually. What motivates me most of all is to try to make a difference within the field of radiology, to really take it to uh, the next level as far as educating the technologists, the staff, as well as educating our community about the, some of the things that we can do preventatively and post-procedurally. My name is Ray Duarte. I'm the uh, regional director of Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus and also Monmouth Medical Center Long Branch. I've been biking uh, literally an average of about 120 miles a week, and that's consistent. 
except for I was seeing a chiropractor uh, for my back pain. Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus is fortunate uh, and the community that we serve is fortunate, I think, to uh, get the latest technology which is called FFRCT or Fractional Flow Reserve CAT scan. So it is essentially a CAT scan and then we use artificial intelligence uh, software to uh, analyze the images that we get on the CAT scan to give us a more definitive diagnosis of the blockages in the blood vessels supplying the heart. During the implementation, we needed to test the system to ensure that everything is working before we go live. We needed volunteers, but we did not just need random volunteers. Ray was one of the folks who volunteered himself because he was having some upper back pain on exertion while he went biking. I, I went in to uh, get my CT done, and the following day, he called me up. He said, Ray, I have good news and I have bad news. When I told him, uh, you know, it's fantastic images of your heart blood vessels, it, you know, it, uh, but unfortunately I have to give you bad news as well, which is you do have a blockage, a severe blockage, upwards of 90%. Uh, and then he went on to have a stent and fix that blockage. Lo and behold, right after my procedure, I realized that the back pain that I had prior to my procedure is gone. And what Dr. Mohan had told me, he said, Ray, um, that's your indication, that's your symptom. Uh, that you're having, you know, heart problem. When you have a significant benefit on another person's life and well-being, uh, uh, there's no feeling like it. That is why we all go to medical school. That is why we all go into the healthcare profession. There's no higher calling in my mind uh, than to make a benefit in a patient's life and well-being. Having the CTFFR heart flow technology elevates uh, this hospital to be on top of its game. It'll put a lot of value to our patient in this community to have this technology and be able to diagnose their condition uh, in an accurate, non-invasive way. This technology literally saved my life. Hi, I'm Jerry Smith. I'm the Administrative Director of Periop Services, Patient Care. I oversee the operating room here at Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus. We have grown over the past two years approximately 30%. Our surgical volume increases in our specialty areas such as general surgery, urology, orthopedic, vascular surgery, and ENT. We do approximately over 300 cases a month and we're 24-7. Patient satisfaction is something we're really proud of. We have received exemplary rewards over the past few years. We educate the patient prior to coming into surgery. We give them the facts and what to expect. When they do come in, they are seen by the registered nurse who calls them ahead of time. Upon discharge, that nurse calls them within 24 hours. So there is a strong connection between the patient and the registered nurse. I have a fantastic team. They're made up of nurses, techs, transport, clerical support. It really takes a village to build what we have down here in Southern Campus. I have a passion for what I do. I love taking care of the patients that we serve in our community. I love being a part of the team. We are a family and we want to do the best. We come in every day given 110%. Thanks, Jerry. We're here again, Half Moon. Let's do it. We're going to go with the next drink. What do you got? All right, so have you ever had nuts and berries? I've had nuts and berries on a plate. The cocktail? No. Okay. Well, it's one of my favorite drinks for this time of year. It's on the sweeter side. We're going to use just three ingredients. Chambord, raspberry liqueur, one frangelica. And frangelica, one of my yep. favorites. Okay, great. And then milk. And for those of you folks that are dairy-free, you can use almond milk or something else like that in the drink. So let's get started. Fill up a pint glass with ice. I can't get this open. You want to help me out sure. with that? There we go. I love Chambord, which is Sprite and Ice, but this is going to be a little different. Never had it with milk before. Oh. 
So I'd say like an ounce and a half, right? Okay. And Frangelica, the, the hazelnut up from uh, Piemonte is excellent, the flavor. You got the fryer with the knot and everything else like that. So the fryers from up in the northern part of Italy, they design this. So I'd say another about ounce and a half of that. And then you'll top it off with your milk of choice, whatever that happens to be. And you said the almond milk is good? Almond milk is good, coconut milk, if those are people that can't mm -hmm. have dairy so that they can still make this for them. And then shake it in your tin. You want it to be like that sort of light pink wow. purple color. See what you think. It's a little frothy. Oh, wow. The berry taste is really nice. You know what? That was so good. I love the uh, color of the Chambord and then also the flavors is really good. Mm -hmm. I love the foam taste, so yeah. great job. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much and Thank you. we'll see you soon. Let's go back to the hospital and we're gonna go see the breast center with Dave. Hi, my name is Dee Yard. I'm the assistant director of the Jacqueline M. Wilentz Breast Care Center. We are a full comprehensive breast care center. So that means you could come in, have your screening, mammo, your diagnostic mammo, all the way up to having surgery. The best thing about my department is that we have state-of-the-art equipment. We have two 3D hologic mammo machines. We have a 3D hologic stereotactic machine, and we have ultrasound machine as well. In our department, our radiologists are dedicated we have an all-female staff. They're very caring. They just go out of their way to make the patient feel comfortable. We like to listen to the patient, feel out their needs and their concerns. We like to tell the patient what we are going to do during the exam so there's no surprises. We go above and beyond with our patients. We try to put ourselves in the patient's shoes. We grew tremendously in one year, so to facilitate that need, we had to add on an extra 3D MAMO unit, which has been wonderful. So at this time, we can offer more services to the community. My aunt had breast cancer, so this is very personal to me. If I can save a woman's life from doing four pictures of her breast, then it's well worth it for me. I just wanna go out there and save lives. That's my devotion, my passion, and my drive. Hi, I'm Nancy Stevens. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I had a routine mammography last November, and I went there secure in the fact that I was gonna be okay, because there's no cancer in my family, so it wasn't gonna happen to me. And I came home that day, and they called me back for an ultrasound, and I was shocked. I went back, and sure enough, they found a lump. So I went home, didn't know what to do, so I called Robert Wood Johns the next morning, and everybody there was immediately so nice and understanding, and uh, they were very helpful. And they suggested Dr. Schulman, so I called him, went there, and I found him to be kind and considerate and not hurried, easy to talk to. I told her the pros and cons of potential harms for whatever we do, we always discuss that, and uh, yeah, she felt very comfortable with having a lumpectomy. I have a pulmonary lung condition where I, my breathing is compromised, and so they did a non-evasive surgery. And that just was per perfect for my condition, and I got through that without a problem. Nancy's case, when you look at the total person, her age, her overall health, and her underlying lung problems, the fact that she had a very early cancer, biologically not aggressive, it was felt that a lumpectomy that was all that was necessary, as well as post-operative endocrine treatment that we didn't have to do a sampling of the lymph nodes. I was delighted to get the treatment close to home. It just made it easier on everybody, and I just found that everybody was so competent and so kind and, and understanding and, and just efficient. It was just wonderful that it was close to home. Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus has a history of uh, providing excellent care for their patients, and even just as importantly, in a, uh, a caring, individualized type of uh, atmosphere. We, we look at the patient as a whole, and we try to do the best thing you know, for the patient based on 
whatever their problem is. In this case, it was a lady with breast cancer. Dr. Schulman he made me feel just very comfortable. He's a very lovely man. I love working here and I love taking care of my patients at this institution. Hello, my name is Jennifer Lees. I'm the Director of Emergency Services at Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus. At our emergency department, we realize that everybody's time is important. So we utilize pull to full, which means that as long as there's beds available in our department, our patients come right back. Because as much as we know that we're great providers, we're great nurses, we're great techs, the patients didn't come here to see us, they came here to see the physician. So the sooner we can get them back into those beds and to get the assessment by the physician, the sooner we can get them onto the next level of care. Our door-to-dock -door times run less than eight minutes and that's our wow factor. We're also very proud of our department because we do sustain the highest patient satisfaction in the Robert Wood Johnson and Barnabas Health System and also nationally. We work collaboratively with all team members from all departments that service our patients. We have a very simple philosophy in our department. Every single person who touches our patients is just as important as the next. So whether you're the housekeeper or the CNO, we all have the accountability to make sure that our patients have the best experience. The way that our team works together, our patients feel that. It's tangible, and I, I believe that that's the reason why we do have such great patient satisfaction scores and also our employee engagement scores. Just because we are one of the highest in the system doesn't mean we should stop there. We want to make sure that we're nationally recognized and that our patients feel that satisfaction. It's not just a number on a piece of paper, it's what the patients feel, and we want them to come back. We want to be the healthcare provider of choice for our patients. Thank you, Jennifer, for the tour. I'm here at Charlie's of Bayhead. I'm here with Evan, a great mixologist. Evan, thank you for having me. What did you prepare for us? Joe, always a pleasure. Thanks for being here. Today, what I got going on for you, it's called the Bayhead Tea Party. Wow. Um, this is kind of a nice little creation in a mix of a different mojito. As we start off with just a little bit of mint, we got a little bit of lemon juice. We're gonna do about a quarter ounce of that. Now, a very big step in our cocktail here as well is our simple syrup, something that adds the sugar flavor, something a little bit sweet to our cocktails. What we do with this one is a honey ginger simple syrup. Do so you infuse that? We do, yes. Okay. So um, simple syrup is very simple to make. So it's two cups of sugar to two cups of hot water. Bring that to a boil and then infuse anything that we do there. This one's honey ginger. So we just do some raw honey and then uh, peel some ginger and just put it right in there, bring it to a boil. So you're gonna get another about a quarter ounce of that. Muddle all your mint, your lemon, and your um, simple syrup up together. What we're going to do here is take our rum. This is a uh, Forte de Cana Nicaraguan rum. Take about an ounce and a half. Our next step in the cocktail is Rothman and Winter Apricot Liqueur. This is going to add more of sweetness to the cocktail. So we're going to do about a half ounce, three quarters of an ounce. And then our last step of the process, what we did for this cocktail was infuse black tea. Mm. So we brew fresh black tea and uh, you take a full orange, maybe two to three of them, and just peel the edges off. Whether you're making this cocktail at home, you can just brew a glass, let that sit for a couple of hours, let that sit for even 30 minutes or so, but just peel that orange zest and then um, stick some cinnamon sticks in there. And that's about two ounces there. So we're just gonna give this a nice little shake here. And Joe, just keep in mind, you know, this is a late fall cocktail here. Foaming nice. Foaming nice. That's your black tea. So your black tea, when you shake it up, is always going to foam up. You notice you now the mint's in it and also on top. The rum is the biggest thing once you put that cocktail up to your nose. Give it a shot. Wow. That's really good. I like the apricot flavor. This is really, really good. Definitely give this a try at home. I think your guests will appreciate it and so will you. So we're gonna start pairing next. What do we got? All right, Joe, chef's prepared something nice for you today here. This is petite lamb chops. This is also prepared with crispy fried Yukon potatoes. This is all finished with a mint ginger salsa verde. We have a Absolutely. lot of mint. We have some ginger in, the, um, in that Bayhead tea party for you that pairs well with the sauce. I like it. Mm. And cooked perfectly. Perfect. Really, really nice. Yep. This was excellent, thank you, Evan. Okay, now let's go back to the hospital for the Geriatrics Institute. 
Hi, my name is Michael Skloff, and I am the director of the James and Sharon Maida Geriatrics Institute. Our program is a one-of-a-kind, state-of-the-art program where we see patients 65 and older, inpatient and outpatient. Our program is considered one-stop shopping. The seniors come in and they first meet with our nurse. From there, the geriatrician or nurse practitioner comes in and assesses the patient. If those providers feel the patient needs more services like blood work, EKG, echocardiograms, or radiology services, our lab and radiology departments can come upstairs to our exam rooms and take care of those patients while they're with us in their exam rooms. We are affiliated with the GEM unit, Geriatrics Emergency Medicine, which is located downstairs in our hospital's emergency department. If that patient then is admitted into our hospital system, they will be admitted to our ACE unit, which stands for our acute care for the elderly. And the beauty of it is, is that our geriatrician and our nurse practitioners can go to those inpatient rooms and see how they're doing if they are our patients. We have a social worker. Our social worker conducts two different types of support groups. One of them is a caregiver support group. We also have a bereavement group for those who have lost their spouses. Along with all of these services, we also have a physical therapy department. Finally, with our program, we know that a lot of seniors don't have transportation. We offer a complimentary van service. Where else do you get this kind of service? Nowhere, except here. So we're quite pleased and quite proud. We make a difference. We do make a difference, and I'd like to say we hold hands. We do, we hold hands with our patients, and when they call, we answer. Geriatric Institute, Chris speaking. may I help you? Thank you, Michael. We're here for the last drink of the night. What do you got, Evan? This one's called Just In Time, Just In Time for the Holidays. Um, what I did here was kind of just take on an upside down Cosmo. Presentation for this one is, is very big, so it's gonna be very nice. This one's made with Kettle One Vodka. We're also gonna use something that you see commonly is uh, St. Germain elderflower liqueur. This one mixes very well, adds a very extensive flavor to it, and just brings out a lot of aromas. First here is I'm gonna put pomegranate juice right in the bottom of the glass. So this one is going to be our layering aspect. What you're gonna do, you're gonna see this in just a moment. Kettle One Vodka, just about an ounce, ounce and a half. Remember, it is a Cosmo almost in a sense. Usually triple sec is in a Cosmo, but we replace it with your St. Germain. So that's an ounce and a half, maybe three quarters of an ounce. It's a little lime juice. You always want a little bit of citrus in your cocktails. Not too much, you don't want to overwhelm it. Of course, Cosmo-wise, you have your, your cranberry juice. We use white cranberry juice for this to keep the color of white. And then, going back to the simple syrup. This one is infused with cinnamon and rosemary. We're gonna shake that up. So what we do is we have crushed ice here. This gives me a nice little layering aspect here for you. And keep in mind, this is an upside down Cosmo, so that's just going to add a beautiful little layering process right there for you. And then what we finish that off with, Joe, a nice little firecracker right there for you. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. Mm. I'm not a vodka drinker, but like just putting this up to your nose, you smell the rosemary, uh, really nice drink. This was excellent, thank you, Evan. Joe, always a pleasure, thanks for being here. I really enjoyed spending the night with you. I hope everyone at home got a lot out of this, enjoyed the drinks and some of the pairings of the food. I uh, wanna wish you a happy and healthy holiday and a happy, healthy new year. Thank you very much. Thanks, Joe, for putting together this wonderful group of mixologists and restaurants to provide our guests with the best possible experience. A big thank you to our CEOs and all our clinical directors for shining so brightly tonight. Special thanks to all our sponsors, for without them, none of this would have been possible. We are forever grateful. We hope you enjoyed this new and creative way of keeping in touch and staying connected together. Maybe you'll even try one or more of these fabulous drinks and recipes at home over the holidays. Philanthropy was always nice to have, but in today's environment, it's imperative to have. This will ensure that we can keep the hospital updated with the brightest talent, the most up-to-date technology that will help us continue to provide you and your family with the very best healthcare right here in your community. During these unprecedented times, we ask you to consider making a contribution tonight. 
all proceeds will support cancer services here at Mama South, so we can continue to provide the best clinical care, cutting edge therapies, and state of the art technologies to you close to home. On behalf of our entire leadership team here at Mama South, we would like to share our sincere thanks for your participation and support. To learn more about these drinks, recipes, and eateries, and to donate to Mama South Foundation, please visit our website for more information. Thank you and happy holidays. I'm waiting for a camera action roll. I can't get this open. You want to help me out sure. with that? Yeah. Well, it's tough, isn't it? All right, we gotta uh, do this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now let me introduce you to your new CEO, Eric Corney. Nailed it. <laughs> Let's go over to the OR. Oh, now let's go over to OR. Yeah. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> All our mixologists and restaurants who helped us this, Jesus. Oh, All right, I'm sorry, this is it, this is it, this is it. I have the highest, put the hands down. I have the highest number of specialty. Okay. I have the, oh, from the beginning? Now let's go back to the pediatrics. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> the lips still good? Am I talking too quickly? You are doing. Are these the bloopers? <laughs> <It is now. laughs>